hi guys so today I wanted to talk about bronzers I am of a tan to sometimes dark complexion depending on what time of year so right now I'm kind of in between shades but I can be quite dark in the summertime I wanted to talk about bronzers because I feel like 2019 2020 I've gotten to use a lot of bronzers that look really good on my complexion and in the past I would skip bronzers altogether because most of them did not show up on my skin and I really didn't want to invest a ton of money trying out all these different bronzers and still not getting what I really wanted but I have a bunch of bronzers here that I think are really really good there's so many different undertones in here they I feel like they all work for me and if you want to be more specific to your undertones, I'm going to kind of go over that. So, the first thing I want to think, talk about is not an actual bronzer. And this is going to be like an early on honorable mention because it's not technically a bronzer. But this is the Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Stick Foundation. And I use the shade Mocha as a bronzer. So, for a long time before 2019 this is what I would use as a or probably in 2019 right I started using this as a bronzer I think the color is absolutely stunning this is more of a I would call this like a olive undertone and when I say olive it's like neutral with a golden undertone slightly warm and it just looks really stunning on the skin when you blend it out and it looks gorgeous on me when I'm at my fairest and also when I'm at my tan because I can kind of build it up to where I want and because it's foundation it blends in beautifully with every foundation I've ever used it with so I think this is a great great option for bronzer and it's in the drugstore I'm gonna start off with that the next thing I wanted to use since we just went into kind of a cream product is the Fenty Cream Bronzer and I use the shade number 5 Teddy. And this I also feel like is a strong olive undertone to it but it's slightly warmer and it's even I think a little bit more olive tone than this one as you can see. It has that slight green to it but a lot of people with my complexion have a low-key olivey undertone to us so I feel like this is really really beautiful on my complexion if you are close or have the same complexion as I do and then the last cream product I want to talk about is the Huda Beauty Tantor and I have mine actually in the shade light this is quite pigmented um, which I love because usually it's really really hard to find products that are dark enough and this is the light shade so there's going to be room for people of deeper skin tones I feel like this is actually a product that's more on the neutral undertone and I'll show you right here this is the Tantor it doesn't have as strong of the olivey warm undertone it's right down the middle so if you feel like you're a true neutral undertone this is perfect it blends out beautifully on the skin no matter what foundation I've used that with and it's really really buildable so you can go in starting with a light hand and then really build it up also, I think the packaging on this is just so, so beautiful, as well as the Fenty one, but I just kind of enjoy the sleekness of their packaging a little bit better. So going into powder products, I'm going to start off with something with a little bit more of a golden undertone, and this is the Hula Caramel. They had started this with just the Hula, which was quite light. They added the Hula Light. Now they have the Caramel and also the Toasted, which is one you know stop above this and this packaging sucks <laughs> but I really like the product it's very very creamy and it has a really gorgeous golden undertone so if you want to look warm 
It is not swatching very well. And my stomach's making noise. If you want that warmth, but you don't want to look red or orange, this gives you a beautiful golden undertone. And I just absolutely love it. And it's it blends in gorgeous. Then we have the Tarte Hotel Eris bronzer. This one is okay. It's a little hard press and I got like hard pan right off the bat with this. But once I started getting into it a little bit more, it is a very beautiful shade. It's very similar to the Hula Caramel and I if I had to choose between the two, I would go with the Hula, but this is also really beautiful. And because it's kind of hard press, you're only gonna get a little bit at a time. I will say because the Hula is so creamy, it's easier to pick up on the brush, but it's also easy to kind of over apply. So if you want something to, you kind of just wanna build it up if you're a person who wants to be more, have more control over your product, this is something that I definitely would recommend. So these two I would say are really good drugstore options. This is the NYX um, Matte Bronzer and then the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 300. This has a pretty good range as far as um, darker ones and lighter ones. This one, this is the darkest that they have. So it's kind of disappointing because it's the shade deep and I don't really define my skin tone to be as deep. So yeah, they need to work on that. But this has a really gorgeous golden undertone. This is the Maybelline 300 deep and very, very creamy, very, very beautiful. And then we have the NYX Matte Bronzer, and this is in the shade Deep Tan, number five. So I do believe there's darker ones, but this is the NYX one here, and then this is the Maybelline, and they're quite similar with that golden undertone. And I think they look really, really beautiful on the skin. Now we're getting into the bronzers that kind of have a little bit more of a red undertone. So if you want that extra warmth or you feel like you have that undertone, these are good options for you. The first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the shade Cappuccino. This is how she looks in the pan. And you can see she, let me put a little bit more. She's a little red, but she looks really, really pretty. If you like that warmth and you feel like you kind of have a red undertone, that looks really beautiful. I wear that sometimes in the summer because I tend to get a little darker here on my, you know, my forehead around the side and I sometimes do tan a little red. Also, this is a great option, the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in the shade Dark to Deep. This is a beautiful, very, very lightweight formula. It has some sparkle in it, but it does not come out like glitter. It's just a really pretty like shimmer on the skin. And if you like something like the Hourglass Bronzers, um, you're going to like this. So this is the bare minerals and then this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and then now we're gonna get into my two favorite bronzers and that is the Charlotte <laughs> made all this nice that is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer and I have this in the shade tan I am gonna order the shade medium for when I'm a little bit fairer but this definitely has a gorgeous red undertone and I adore this bronzer. I think it's so beautiful. It's pigmented. It's creamy. And yeah. And then I think this one from XX Revolution, which is a Makeup Revolution sub-brand. This is the shade Phantom. Is pretty much a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one, I think. Um, 
they both have a similar texture and they both have that red undertone um this one's just slightly more neutral so this is the charlotte tilbury and this one right here is the xx revolution i love them both so so much um yes i am in love those are the bronzers that i think are just like phenomenal for our skin tone if you are my complexion also the formulas on these are really really good so if you're not my complexion you might still really enjoy these bronzers and until next time thank you guys so much for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and to subscribe to my channel thank you guys bye